Your eyes deceive you. <laughs> Are you from Harry Potter? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, your eyes deceive Bippity you. Bippity boppity boo. Have you not noticed lately? You're not going to see your gummy shit. You have jock itch. <laughs> I cast a spell on you. <laughs> well, it's like the douchiest wizard like, ever. <laughs> okay, here's what I wonder. Do you think every wizard, when they hit like the title in Harry Potter, when they hit Grand Wizard, they're like, oh... Uh, oh. I don't think Grand Wizard is a title. They're like, oh no, I gotta get past <laughs> this one fast. No, I, I think but then more... certain wizards are like, yeah. I think I think when they hit this title of Grand Wizard, I think there's like a extra party. Oh no, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I because I, I picture the people at Hogwarts as racist. That's very possible. They're from England. Yeah. So. Well, okay. <laughs> the English Empire was responsible for slavery being invented. Ooh. Did you know that? No. Yeah, that's true. Actually, no, it wasn't. There's been slavery in history all, like for thousands of years. No, nope, no, nope, the British Empire made it. They created it. <laughs> it didn't exist until the British. No, the British <laughs> went over to Africa. They created it. It is awful. That's not even okay. a joke. But they started slavery. It never existed before that. That so was, was about a... in the uh, sometime before 1812 because there was a war in 1812 with the British. So okay. I know they started it before that. Actually, the war of 1812 was with the uh, uh, Spanish. Uh-oh. Wait, no, I'm, no, no, I'm no, kidding. No, it wasn't. I'm kidding. It was not, because the War of 1812 is basically the British said, like, okay, yeah, you won the Revolutionary War. We're just going to hang out in our fort here our and fort. wait for you to... <laughs> Looks like you found the other one. Let me see it. Okay, wait here. I'll get it installed right now. Sid looks like one of those guys that's on, like, his farm at the age of 55 and will, like... Literally gun you down with his shotgun at the sight of you. Oh, if you're trespassing? Yeah, like you literally tap his land. He's like... Well, <laughs> just remember what Donald said to you. No frowning, no sad faces. How can you be so cheerful? There's still no sign of your king. Aren't you worried? I'm worried. The king told us to go out and find the key bearer, and we found you. So, as long as we stick together, it'll all work out okay. You just gotta believe in yourself, that's all. Just believe. I believe in you. I think there's rule 34 of that old lady. I do. Are we supposed to be reading this to people? Basically, it's just like, hey, <laughs> hey, the darkness was a thing. It went over everything and the world disappeared. Then there was like light like that survives. And uh, it's in the hearts of children. I, I don't like where this is going. <laughs> With these fragments of light, children rebuilt the lost world. Oh, Jurassic Park. <laughs> it's the world we live in now, but the true light sleeps deep within the darkness. Kyrie, that's why you need to watch Jurassic World 3 in theaters starting Monday morning. It's like Jurassic World 3. Hands are, hands are like a ticket. <laughs> Someday a door to the innermost darkness will open and the true light will return. So listen, child, even in the deepest darkness, there you will always, always count be on my light. tits. Oh, no. Okay, here's the thing. How would she know this? Is there is there a lore behind Kyrie's grandma? Like, well, I feel like she's read every book in this library. That's possible, but I I just don't get like who is she? She's Kyrie's grandma. Yeah, I know, but does she matter? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't remember her ever coming up after this, but like, it's like she understands like stuff going on in the world that no one else knows about. But this is Hollow Bastion, right? So would they have lived here when Ansem was doing his research on the Heartless? Technically, what if Kyrie was the descendant What's of Ansem? That's uh, a weird theory. Nothing. Like her grandma was Ansem's like Kyrie? wife. Did you call me? <laughs> this is like some Emperor Palpatine stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
I don't know. It's weird to think about because like they don't really bring that up. Like, who is Kyrie really? Yeah. Like, in terms of like, what if Kyrie's grandma was actually Sora's grandma? That would suck. But you know, that place is crawling with Heartless. Don't say I didn't warn you. Here, take this dong. Oh wait, take this along. <laughs> I said something else there. Transform. Hey, take Jeep. my dong. Transform. G. All right, what are we doing? I'm uh, we're a shop. shop. We're gonna buy. buy. Can we get this? Can we buy people yet? <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, this guy's like a backwoods person. <laughs> oh, okay. oh no, no, no! We, we cannot buy people. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wrong game, I guess. Okay. He's like, look. Some people call them indentured servants. I like to call them friends you don't pay. <laughs> it's like, okay, wait a minute now. What if all these gummies was like another name for a person? And this is like, what, a human trafficking ring? Yeah, but like he has to disguise the name. So it's That's... like, which one do you want? Uh, Scan G. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, okay, got Scan it. G is a hard worker. It's yeah. like, you're like, oh no. Meet, meet me in the back tonight at two o'clock. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, you could like be selling all these people who don't have a world anymore. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, what do we got in the item shop? No one's going to miss them. <laughs> That's a sad truth. <laughs> okay, so um, you know what's scary to me? I've been watching these like videos about like missing people lately. Yeah. And it is insane how many people go missing when they're on like trips and stuff. I know. Like, especially women. Yep. It's in like hotels. It's really terrifying. Like I I I don't know. I don't I don't have like a joke here, obviously. Like, <laughs> it's just scary. Like it's like really creepy. Cause like I've been watching these things where it's like, oh, and like, uh, oh, by the way, I also got fire arts the other day. Oh, nice. Um, I've been watching these things, like these videos. There's like this guy, Top 5 Unknowns, and there's Let's Read. They're really good. And there's also uh, Criminally Listed, and they do a lot of stuff about this. Uh, but it's just so weird because you basically have like these people where it'll be like they'll be talking to someone and like one minute and then like two hours later, no one's seen them. Again. Ever. Yeah. Ever. In like a month from now, I'm going to pull up YouTube and watch the video. Uh, YouTuber Degenerate J goes missing after his Kingdom Hearts Let's Play with friend Nate. <laughs> Wait, did I go missing with you? No. Oh, no. <laughs> it is pretty... Um, it's pretty insane. So this is the thing, right? This is not a defense of it, because somebody could spin this to try and sound like a defense of this okay. practice. But it's pretty crazy when you look at... Oh, I think, by the way, I might be able to fight the Phantom now. Try it. So I'm going to look. It's insane to me that when you look at it, there is a lot of like societies throughout history where it's like, hey, the society next door became more powerful. We're going to come in and destroy you. Yeah. And then, like... A hundred years later, hey, the society next door became more powerful. Now we're going to come in and destroy you. Especially in, like, Europe. Right. It's, like, crazy like that with the Anglo-Saxons and the Brits and everything. Yeah, they you. kept destroying each other. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know. I guess my point is... Yeah, what's your point with all that? I don't have a point, but my point is, like, it's crazy how, like, to me, I always thought of it as, like, before I knew history... By the way, I need to go back to the ship, then to the cabin, then there. Before I knew any history, I always thought that what it was was that Europe was, like, happy, but they had, like, no room left. And so they sent people to America to take more room. I'm, I'm just telling you, this is my, like, little kid. Isn't that what happened? Fundamental understanding of history. <laughs> okay. And then after that, what ended up happening was that... Wait, where's... Oh, here. Um, I can't understand her. I'll bet Peter knows what she's saying. Um, and then after that, they came to America, and they pushed the indigenous people out and took their land, and then because they needed room, and that they were, like, the first people to do that. That's what I'm getting to. Yeah. Is I thought that it was just Europe was a bunch of jerks, and that was it. It's it's more like They every, are jerks. Well, yeah, but everybody was. Yeah. Which I didn't know. They stopped caring about beating up each other. And went somewhere where they could beat up someone easier. Yeah. Which is crazy, by the way, because a lot of indigenous tribes destroyed some of the Europeans when they first got here. Yeah. Despite, like, weaponry. Well, yeah, and here's the thing. Speaking about indigenous tribes... Oh, no. They also destroyed each other. Okay, that's true. Like, yeah. all, like, the tribal warfare and stuff between them was insane. 
<clears throat> that is true. So, how do you activate this phantom? I've actually never done this battle before. I think I've seen you do it, but I've never done it myself. I don't know. I thought it was here. Well, you you have, might have to look it up. Does it have something to do with the clock tower? Because the things on the clock tower is glowing. Uh, on the other one. Not that one, but the one around the corner. Okay. Yeah, no, that is true, though. That's that's something that's or maybe been... maybe it's the other one. That's something that's been true through all of history, too, that I didn't know about. Because you don't... You don't hear about that as the thing. Right. Um, I think I, what it just comes down to is people, no matter who it is, people are just douchebags. <laughs> who destroy each other? Yeah, they're like, oh, person has something I want. I will go kill person. Yeah. And take thing. So it's like... We are nowhere near that. Are you, um... What are you playing right now, by the way, on your own? Is this a conversation starter? I am playing Assassin's Creed Revelation. Wow. How's I'm trying going? to platinum it. How's that going? Well, I beat the main story. Okay. I literally beat the main story in nine days. Wow. Like, I just went hardcore on it. But, all right, now I'm working on all the side stuff for platinuming. It is not enjoyable. <laughs> really? Why? Well, I don't know. It's just stuff like... Um, Climb the Hagia Sophia Tower in under 25 seconds. Oh. So it's like just monotonous crap. Well, and here's the thing. I tried doing that. My third try doing it, I got in like 50 seconds. So I'm like, how are you supposed to do this in 25 seconds? Do you have the upgrade? <clears throat> yeah, you get that like right away. Oh, I didn't even remember. So it's just, but it's just like annoying stuff like that. Ooh, we're here. One of the most annoying worlds in the entire series. So I actually like this world, but I hate, I despise all the underground stuff. Yeah, it's just, it's really annoying. It's like, very confusing. Gorge, look at that! I know this place. So I really think that this is the, this was the castle in Tarzan. I think that's the one that he said he knew. The castle in Tarzan? Yeah, I wonder why. What do you mean? There was a castle on the slides in Tarzan. I feel this warmth inside right here. And remember, he said, like, I, I've seen this before. Oh, oh, this oh right? on, like, the projector slides. I thought you meant, like, a slide that you go down. No, 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 the projector slides. Okay. <clears throat> like, I think this is the castle from that, but I don't... I thought it was, like, the Disney castle. That's possible. Yeah, may maybe. Because I thought we, like, made a joke about that. <clears throat> well, we did, but what I don't get is how Sora would know what it is. The Disney castle? Yeah. Or this? Either one. Well, Sora's been here. But he hasn't. Well, I mean, but part of him has. has. Part of him has, yeah. But but my point is, like, why would he know what Disney castle is? Because he said the same thing in that. No vessel. No help from the Heartless. So tell me, how'd you get here? Hmm. <laughs> I simply believed nothing more to it. When our world fell into darkness, Belle was taken from me. I vowed I would find her again, no matter what the cost. I believed I would find her. So here I am. She must be here. I will have her back! Take her if you can. finally made it. About time. I've been waiting for you. We've always been rivals, haven't we? You've always pushed me, as I've always pushed you. Riku! But it all ends here. There can't be two Keyblade Masters. What are you talking about? Let the Keyblade choose. It's true master! Maleficent was right. You don't have what it takes to save Kyrie. It's up to me. Only the Keyblade Master can open the secret door and change the world. 
But that's impossible. How did this happen? I'm the one who fought my way here with the Keyblade. You were just the delivery boy. Sorry, your part's over now. Here, go play hero with this. King told us to follow the key and all, but... Hey, don't move! You're hurt! Why? Why did you... you come here? I came... to fight for Bell. And though I am on my own, I will fight! I won't leave without her. That's why I'm here. Me too. I'm not gonna give up now. I came here to find someone very important to me. Riku's like laying on the ground like almost dead. And as a joke, Sora like whips out the stick and like smacks him in the head. Nice. <laughs> That'd be like a really funny joke. Can we still glide? <clears throat> okay, good, okay. All right, we can grab all this stuff with our little wooden our stick. Sword. So that's it. The rest of the game, you just play with the sword. Yep. And it uh, doesn't this, matter anymore. This is some pretty nice wood Sora has. Yeah, it's a nice piece of wood. Yeah, it's pretty long. What did you think when this happened, by the way, in the game? Like when I first saw it the first yeah. time? Yeah. Okay. Riku in this game is such a dick. Yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> I know. He's like the biggest cock boy of all time. Yeah. And like, I don't... Okay, first of all, it's like... He's jealous that Sora has these new friends, but if you remember when they met each other on Hollow Bastion... At Traverse Town. Traverse Town, sorry. Yeah. Riku was the one that randomly just left. Yep. And then Maleficent was like, see, he has other friends too. And Riku's like, yeah. It's like, I, no, I you're know. the one that ran away, so... I know, it doesn't make much sense, does it? <laughs> and then also, here's the other thing. Why is Why does Riku feel like... Sora has to be his only friend. I don't know. It's like, oh no, Sora has friends. <laughs> I have no idea. He's yeah, like, this uh, doesn't do anything. Sora's like one of those like 15 year old boys that's like jealous of everything. You mean Riku is? Yeah, Riku, sorry. Wait, you can do Arcanum with this? Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything. Does your magic do anything? Oh, that oh. does, but barely. I like how you can use magic out of a piece of wood. Well, yeah. What would you use magic out of? Okay, my, can Beast like my do wood. something, please? My wood has pretty intense magic. Oh, that does make sense. That explains what I felt earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay, so let's go through here. The gates are shut. <laughs> it cannot be opened yet. Check the base level first. Oh, man. This is like the worst part of the game. It honestly is the worst part of the game. <laughs> I'd rather, like... I would honestly rather be that fake Michael Myers from Halloween 2 that just gets reamed by the police car and exploded. Do you remember that? I do remember that. I'd rather be that guy than have to do this. What is this? What Can we do anything over here? What, what well, one, one of them, I think, goes... Yeah, that one of them does that, and the other one has the one that goes up and down. Okay, well, we'll just take this, I guess. Yeah, I've been playing other than GTA with you, obviously this, and some stuff with T, but... I I feel like I'm boring today. I feel like I don't have anything to say for some reason. I feel like I'm boring every day. Oh, well. I mean, you are, but that's okay. Okay. That was actually a cry for sympathy. I wanted I wanted to hear you compliment me. You're getting none. 
Zero. <laughs> okay. Zero sympathy will be garnered here. <laughs> maybe someone in the chat can. Uh, there is no help. chat. Maybe someone in the comment section. Okay. Can give me some uh, help. You think we're live streaming? Yeah. Uh, chat. What do you think? You just look <laughs> at your phone. It's a black screen. <laughs> You're just like, well, no help from the chat today. Just talking. <laughs> Nothing. There we got the fire <laughs> ring. Let's save. D28. Okay. So I remember I hate this part because it's like uh, I feel like I'm going to like fight the the minotaur. In like the labyrinth down here. Oh, yeah. hey, what is that legend from? It's from Greek mythology. Yeah, but like, w was it in a labyrinth in Greek mythology? Yeah. Why? Well, the the story is uh, the hero Theseus. Okay. Basically, long story short, these people are having these other society pay ransom to them every like year or something like that. And, but the ransom is people. Oh. So they have to like send people in there, then I think they, I don't know what they do. I think, I forgot. I think they feed it to the Minotaur or something. I don't remember. But. Oh, any, so it's like a human sacrifice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, uh, Theseus basically goes in there. Long story short, he goes to fight the Minotaur. But the Minotaur is in like his labyrinth. So he has to like go through the maze okay. to get to the Minotaur. And it's, like, really complex and confusing and stuff like that. I just watched an episode a while back of uh, Batman the Animated Series that has to do with that. Nice plug-in. No, actually. Like, it was, like, Riddler makes a maze. And, like, he has, like, a minotaur inside it that he creates. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. It's pretty cool. cool. And it's, like, designed off of ancient Greece. So I wondered if that was, like, a real Yeah, that, that was a real mytho er, mythological tale. Yeah, I didn't even know that. Did you like Greek mythology, like, in school? Yeah, I okay. always found it very interesting. I find it more interesting, like, learning about it on my own without certain English teachers that suck. <laughs> you know, I know it's when you were Who we ran to. into at Half Price Books and <laughs> yeah. hid. Nate and I were at Half Price Books and we <laughs> ran into this English teacher. And we, we both, both like, hate. turned away. And, like, I, I picked up a book and I was, like, pretending <laughs> to read it with my face in it. We were like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah... That was uh, not the ideal situation at all. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know where I'm going, by the way. I might... I, I think might... you're going to the right place. Okay, because yeah. I was going to say, I'm just as likely to end up back where I started in this. The thing I find funny about Greek mythology, though, is 90% of the issues can be solved by Zeus not being horny. <laughs> that's really <laughs> true, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Oh, what is this? Ooh. It sounds like a door has opened. Head back to the castle gates. Wait, did I just do the whole part? Yeah. Are you serious? It's that short? Yes. Because I used to get really lost here. How do you get in here? You used to get really lost in here, but then your brain fully developed. Oh, so you're saying it's because I was 12. Yeah. Because I, I remember when I was younger, I used to not be able to, like, comprehend this maze. Like, I used to, like, see this thing and be like, wait, wait, what does that open up again? I couldn't remember. Right. But now it's like, now that I'm very mature yeah, and extremely. very... Very old, and... What is Beast doing there? <laughs> what is going on? It looks like he just got the bidet in his butt. You know what I mean? Like I don't it, know what a bidet is. It's, well, that's the name of it, isn't it? It's like the... you Like a butt plug? No, no. Oh, well, what, kind okay. of. But okay. it's, it's like you sit on a toilet, and it shoots water up. Oh, like the Japanese butt. toilet? Yeah, and it like cleans your butt. It's also in Europe. A oh, lot of people now have, have to go America. back. Yeah. Would you ever do that? Yeah. You actually would? No. Oh, okay. I would try it. I've heard it's like it actually cleans you up. Like in some cases, like depending on the model model of toilet you have, yeah, it can clean you better than toilet paper can, in terms of like sanitary. Here's the real question of what I'm into. What you're into now? Can wait it, a minute. Now that was not the question. The question was, would you try? Oh wait, this goes back. Can it hit your uh, spot in your butt? I'm sure if you get the correct one. Yes. Okay. And why would you not buy that one is my question. Okay, because I will be ordering one tonight. Okay, for the new house? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, okay, so I have another question for you. You just watched RoboCop for the first time in your life. I did watch RoboCop for the first time in my life. I'm sure we're going to talk about it in a live stream, but this will be way later because we're way ahead. Yeah. Um, what were your thoughts RoboCop, the, the original one from the 80s, by the way. Oh, I thought we were talking about the better one, the new one. The 2014 <sighs> one. We were not. Okay, we my, never my mistake. My we mistake. never will talk about that. 
We will never see that about movie it. again. No, we did see that. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't fit the line. Oh, okay. No, I I like the movie a lot. It was really good. Well, what was it? You I, said better than Terminator 1, worse than Terminator 2? I thought it was... Yeah, I thought it was better than the first Terminator. If we're, like, for some reason comparing those. Well, we're comparing those because you watched all of these for the first time recently. That, yeah. That's literally the only reason. Yeah, why. I thought Terminator 2 was, like, a better movie, but... So, actually, I'll say this. I like the character Robocop better than Terminator. Really? I, th I think he's just a cooler character. He is dope. He's, he's one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, okay, can this guy give me an ether, please? No. But I really like the movie. I found it kind of weird, like, how parody it felt like. I don't know. Right. No, no, no. I, I don't even know saying. what word that is because I'm not in English. Jeez, I have, like, a hiccups. Well, you have water. But um, it almost felt like a Family Guy movie at parts. Yeah, you mean, like, the anti-consumerism jokes and stuff. Yeah, like, it, it felt like a, a lot of, like, random jokes that weren't really movie-like that you see in, like, a serious film like that. Yeah, I agree with that. Ooh, what's going on here? Hey, this looks like my basement a little bit. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Ooh, now it really looks like my basement. Hey-oh. Was your name Jared? Uh, no, it's actually Bill. Oh. 